right guys, welcome to the first video in a little series that I'm going to do now it was uh, brought to my attention in the Discord that you guys have some really good questions about the McDo and maybe we should do a video on uh, advanced MCDU or McDo tips. So that's what this little series is going to be here. We're going to work with the box in the Flight Factor 8320. We're going to do the Tolis 319 as well. Most of these techniques will work the same for both aircraft. If there is a difference between the two, I will uh, outline it or show it to you guys in, in the other aircraft as well. But they should be compatible across the board uh, because there is the same McDo. Now, the Tolis 319 does have a little bit off older software modeled uh, software version than the, what the Flight Factor has. So there might be some differences. This video, we're going to talk about probably the most asked question I get is how do you draw a line or how do you do an extended center line on your ND? And it's a very valid question because we do it quite a bit, especially in the real aircraft. If you have an RNAV arrival on your flight plan and you've set up to fly it all the way through connected, but then you get vectored for a final, how do you clean up your box? So I've intentionally kind of made this ND look a little bit dirty here. What we're going to talk about is how to clean this up and make it look nice and clean with an extended center line. This is the ILS approach to runway 25 left into Los Angeles, and we have it connected to the Angel 4 RNAV arrival. And if I unpause the sim here, you can see when I zoom out that, you know, we've got a hold or a course reversal at CAN and a couple other fixes there. So this will work with any way that you want to, uh, to clean it up. It's very simple. We need to go to the direct key here. This is a direct function. Now we need to select the fix that we want to draw the line off of. Normally we would do it off of uh, Lima, but let's do it off of Honda, which is a final approach, uh, is a fix on the final approach course. It's not the final approach fix, but we can go ahead and select Honda. Now, I'm going to pause this here so you can see this. When I select Honda, a couple things happen. We get a temporarily direct two, which is makes sense because we're under the direct two function in the McDo. Now, if I were to just hit insert right now, the aircraft is going to make a left turn and do a flyby intercept course to Honda. And you can see that is illustrated here by these dashed yellow lines. We don't want to do that. We want to draw an extended center line. Okay, well, we can do that by coming to these functions over here. Radial in, radial out. We're going to use the radial in function. The problem is the auto-populated radial in will work if the previous course inbound was the correct course for your final approach course. So, for instance, the final approach course on this arrival is 251 degrees. If we take the inverse of that, we're going to get 071. That will work. So we know that radial in 071 is the correct course that we need to draw. So I'm going to go ahead and click radial in, and then I'm going to hit insert. And when that happens, we have to do a couple things. Number one, that's going to draw our nice extended center line. But because we're in a direct to function, the aircraft is going to want to fly an intercept path to that approach course especially if you are in nav mode. Now, it will happen if you are in nav mode or in heading mode. So it's very important that you, after you insert the radial in right here, you make sure you pull your heading knob out because the aircraft will automatically revert to a nav capture mode and it will try to capture the nav course. And if you're on radar vectors, you don't want to start turning the airplane before you get cleared to do so. So let's go ahead and unpause the sim here. 071, so we're going to press that. Now you can see it highlights the course center line there. That's exactly what we want. And we hit direct to insert. Now, what happens is if you look here, I'll pause the sim again. We drew that extended center line, but now because we were on a heading of 058, the aircraft drew the intercept point and calculated the turn inbound. That's good for information that we that we can have available to us but we don't want to do that right so that's why it's very important to reselect heading after you insert this course knob or this course so we reselect heading and now you could see we have a nice extended center line so let's do that again but let's make a different course heading so if i go to the box here we're going to go do it again direct to we're going to select honda but let's say 
for some reason we wanted a different course. Let's say we wanted it to be 090. So we'd go ahead and put a 090 here, radial in. Now we've got our course line, insert that, boom. Make sure you pull on heading after you insert it, and there we go again. So now we have an offset final approach course line. I don't know when you would want to use an offset approach course like this. Uh, typically when we do it, it's almost always going to be the final approach course that we want to select because you don't want to join on a on an offset course line. You're going to get, you know, fly heading 020, whatever it may be, intercept final approach course. So you want to make sure that your line is the final approach course. We know in this case that it was 071. So we'll do it one more time, direct to We'll draw it off of Lima this time. We'll go Lima, which is the final approach course. We want 071. That was one degree off. We want 071. Insert. Boom. Pull heading. And now we have an extended course line from the runway, the final approach fix. Make sure you pull heading. And that way you can fly whatever you want. Cleans up your box there. And we have a nice, clean ND display with the course line that we desire for our approach. All right, guys, I hope that helps you out in the first video about drawing an extended center line. And we're going to have a couple more of these uh, coming up here very soon. So hope to catch you again. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one.